This is the sixth game played in Tuscaloosa over three centuries. Alabama has never won at home. 1895, 9,000, or 1901, 2000, 2004, and here we go with 2006. Tristan Davis. Flag is down. This will come back. During the return, five-yard face mask on the chicken team. Penalty, five yards, first down. Four completions, four sacks, four interceptions in the loss to Georgia. They fake the reverse, give it up the middle, and a nice gallop out to the 47 by Kenny Irons. Jeffrey Dukes makes the tackle. Hand off to Kenny Irons. He has the first down as he reaches midfield. We'll set the remainder of the Auburn offense presented by Applebee's. First down, Auburn. Trying to mess with the alignments for Alabama's defense early. Irons, little cutback at the line of scrimmage, and he picks up a quick five to the 45-yard line. Tries to get it, and, oh, I guess, I guess that Alabama defense guessed on the slant, and they were right. Cody Bliss on the punt, having a terrific season. Skies this one, and it will reach the end zone. Touchback for the Crimson Tide. Will Muschamp in his first year as the defensive coordinator, formerly at LSU, and with Nick Saban at the Miami Dolphins. On second down, John Parker Wilson has time, flips it out, tucked on the plane. He's in the flat, one-on-one, -on -one, avoids two tackles, and picks up the first down to the 34. After the 12-yard gain on the pass play, here's Darby, has got a big hole. Looks for blocking help, doesn't get it, but he bangs Keith Brown down and surges out to the 48. John Parker Wilson with a lot of time, he'll tuck it and run it, and he's got the first down. He's got a blocker downfield, and John Parker Wilson gallops inside the 25. Now Darby is the deep back. Brown is in there. They give it off to D.J. Hall. He comes left. Gets a downfield block. First and goal, Alabama. Twenty-four yards. Hold is down. The kick is up. Alabama takes what might be deemed an unsatisfactory. 3-0 lead. Javier Arenas, this one returnable. Fairly low. Arenas backs up, grabs it at the 14. In trouble, down at the 19. Play had a nice crew the first Holding. drive, got it down Number there. eight, during the kick, the penalty will be marked off from the end of the kick, half the distance to the goal. It will be first down, Alabama. 3-0, a long 74-yard drive, second possession, D.J. Hall, oh, was he open. How about that? At the 23-yard line, the tackle is made, and he returned one punt for six yards in the loss to Georgia. Trey Smith back to the return. Oh, oh, my. Oh. Smith has to run up under it. He's got it. Good downfield coverage. Marcus Johnson. They still have a mathematical chance, but if Arkansas wins today, then Arkansas is in the SEC championship game. Here's Bliss for the second time. It's another good one. This one's too good. It'll go into the end zone, so net gain of 12 yards for the Alabama Crimson Tide. I'll tell you, if D.J. Hall comes back with pro throw, they, this could be a scary football team next year. Wilson will be more of a veteran, uh, and the schedule turns their way. Here comes the blitz. Good blitz pickup. John Parker Wilson, Keith Brown. The defensive coordinators are just too good. If you only have one receiver, they'll just stack it up on you and make life very difficult. Third and one, quarterback sneak. And let's see where the spot goes. I think he's got it. Yeah, the spot is just across the 30-yard line. Wilson. Oh, fumble. Auburn got it. Auburn got it. Quinton Groves with the hit. Eight men in the box, and Cox knows it. Lester gets the handoff, comes left to the 23, perhaps the 22-yard line. 
you're going to win the NBA? And he said, four, four, and four. <laughs> Talking about three series. Here's Brad Lester. Skips up the middle to the 15-yard line. That should be another Auburn first down. Jones and Dukes with the tackle. Second down. Here's the toss to Lester. Sweep to the right side. Two to five. In for the touchdown for the Tigers. Oh, boy. That was going to be a reverse. Yep, sure was. And Sam Derek Marks, number 94, said, I don't believe so. Loss of six at second and 16. John Parker Wilson almost fumbled again. He did. It's out, and who got it? Auburn got it. Uh, Joe Kynes talking with us yesterday, the defensive coordinator, had our group ready to suit up. He was very emotional. We must win, he said. They need some help here, and they oh, don't man. get it. Oh, man. Kenny Irons goes like a knife through butter. Wow. Didn't even have to be a sharp knife on that one. I remember it, Tracy. Sideline reporter. Sideline huh? reporter. After the Bear won 315, here's Darby up the middle. Out to the 37. Darby, the motion man. Wilson quick set up under some pressure. Little screen left side for LeVon McLean. And he's popped as he gets to the 47-yard line by Kevin Sears. Uh, P.J. Fitzgerald will punt it away to Trey Smith. Fair catch called by Smith. It'll go over his head. And this one is going to be down at the one. How about that? You don't think he was. Do you? Oh, no, no, no. He's right. a he's loyal SEC sure. guy. Right, good. They'll throw it again from the end zone. And it's caught at the 10-yard line. They're going to give him just across the 10. Rod Smith, number 80. A couple of years ago, Al Borges got a major upgrade coming from Indiana to Auburn. Third down and one here. And that is going to be close. Oh, I sure is. think he got it. Gilberry has only one sack this season. He had six and a half a year ago. Blitz. Cox. Let's it fly wide open. Way out near midfield. Rod Smith. Holy cow. Three men down for a Alabama, Irons goes right, moves easily across midfield to the 45. Our research department didn't go that quickly, Probably did he? Discovering Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Gee, they, they just have it now, don't they? Stack outside, and they're getting outside with a little bit of leverage. Billings starts across, then stops. They do reverse it this time as a pre-snap flag, so bring it back. 53-yard attempt, long this season, 55. He's 19 of 22. From 53 yards out. Could be. Uh-uh. Short. Just, uh, just, just uh, don't like it. Uh, it's a long way, you know. I mean, and now you got Alabama with a chance to make this a football game. Well, Alabama's got to get in the game, and they got great field position. John Parker Wilson finds Makita Stover, number nine. They get the ball out to the 42. And remember now, they've used two timeouts. They have one remaining. Blitz. Oh, all off blitz. Stover's got it, and Stover's got an acre in which to run. Touchdown, Alabama. There is a flag back at the 38. Probably roughing the passer, though. I don't, I don't get it. I do not get it if I'm Auburn. All-out blitz. And he beats Kenny, or excuse me, beats David Irons in number one corner. John Parker Wilson back. Pulls up, lets it go. Oh. It's air. Intercepted by Swinton.
They'll take a knee. Joe Namath said uh, last night that he used to take a knee, and you said you never did. I don't remember. Well, I huh? We didn't win that many. I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> well, we've reached the end of one. Big plays and little things, Gary said. It's 14 to 9. John Parker Wilson back in at quarterback on third down. Quick setup. He's got a man. Nikita Stover, first down. Out to the 33 yard line. And Tatum, with uh, unfortunate memories of a year ago, he did not yeah, have a exactly. very good day in that 11 sack effort by the Auburn defense. Here's Wilson back, blitz coming. Little crossing pattern to Will Oakley, and he's got some room to rip. All the way down to the 30-yard line. They'll give it to Darby, comes left, bounces off the first man and gets to the 25. Karibi Didi, number 21, with the tackle. McLean and Castillo, the elephant package, in the eye. Expect Castillo to get it. He does. And he's got a first down. Second down. D.J. Hall wide to the right side. John Parker Wilson looking a different way. He's got it. That's Travis McCall. The tight end. Touchdown, Alabama. Brown in motion. Play fake, Wilson, under trouble. Flips it up incomplete, so it remains a one-point game. Short. Tristan Davis out to the 20. Oh, ho, ho. Almost. And a flag. That was a nearly. They were driving. Two minutes to go in the half. They decided to go to the field goal. He trots back on now, trailing 15-14. Cox in trouble. Wallace Gilberry gets only his second sack of the season. Now rush four. Cox at the goal line. Steps up, flips it across the 20. That'll be good for the first down. The catch made by Rod Smith. First down and 10. Fake the draw, fired out, got a man wide open down the left. It's the fullback, Carl Stewart. Pretty play. Signature play for this Auburn offense and Al Borges. Oh, yes, Alabama challenging Auburn. Nobody deep. Not even anybody five yards deep. Lee Guess in motion. Here's Cox. Here comes the rush. They got him. It's Wallace Gilberry back to back sacks. He and John Parker Wilson, both residents of the suburbs of Birmingham. Here's the punt by Cody Bliss. Javier Arenas. Oh, oh man. Boy, oh, boy. I guess he doesn't like to fair catch I, I around think, the 10-yard line. I think that was David Irons that came down. It was. Wow. And uh, now you're going to call on P.J. Fitzgerald, who's averaging 38 per punt. To kick it from the end zone, Trey Smith has already moved up to the 45-yard line. Nice it's a nice one. It sure is. Sky high. Smith. And he called the fair catch. Yes, he did. And third quarter. Brandon Cox. Play fake twice. Wide open. The wheel route down the left side. It's the pullback. Carl Stewart. Second time in this half. We've seen that one effectively. Yeah. And something Auburn needed very badly. They were really struggling trying to find yards. Fumble. A flag is down. It might be a pre-snap penalty. Half. And if so, this is going to go Auburn's way. Yeah, half the, the offense yeah. move. Rocking the snap. An illegal snap on the offense. Five yards. Down remain first. Looks like he will rush three. Well, maybe five, six. six. He's going to bring six. Cox in the corner, man coverage, receiver open, touchdown, Auburn. Prisce Rodriguez, number 15, from 22 yards out. 
It's on the left hash. The try for two. Toss. Going to throw it. Yep. Carl Stewart, wide open. Got it. Lee Guest, number 25. In the four years Mike Shula has been the coach here, the Crimson Tide has never come from behind in the fourth quarter to win. It's third down now. John Parker Wilson. Blitz coming. Wilson, watch out from behind. He finds Matt Cadell, and Cadell makes the catch. Q yeah. Grove said, I, you know, I could make a lot of money just playing against Alabama the rest of my career. <laughs> Here is the punt from P.J. Fitzgerald. Nice and high. Trey Smith. Fair catch taken at the 20-yard line. Again, the tide with a three-man down. Whoa, whoa, big play. All the way out to the 41 is Kenny Irons. 19-yard gain. It's first down and 10 from the 40. They'll toss it to Irons. This time the attempted block. Uh-oh, at the football. Alabama has it. Jeremy Clark, number 99. Jimmy Johns in the backfield. They fire the ball over the middle to Keith Brown. And he fumbles. The ball comes out, and I think Alabama, oh, who got it back? Oh, Auburn. So. Auburn's on Cody Bliss to punt. Javier Arenas near the 20-yard line. And this one sends Arenas back near the 10. He's going to be tackled inside the 10. First down and 10 from the 11. Reverse, D.J. Hall comes right. Looks for blocking hill. And gets out near the 18-yard line. And Well, obviously, to win this game, they're going to have to score more in this game than they did in the history of all these games at this stadium. Second down, the toss this time. Jimmy Johns got some help. He's got a first down after the 25-yard line. Oh, man. <laughs> first down and 10. That's Jimmy Johns in motion. Empty backfield. Inside to Keith Brown. He's got the ball, and he secures it this time for the 45-yard line. 21-yard gain. Kevin Sears made the tackle. From the 45, here is the toss. Jimmy Johns to the 47. Let's make it the 48-yard line. Hoover High School, big high school, had it all, comes in here and gets hit, boy. Lobs this one out. It's caught by Tim Castillo. He surges across the 40 to the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 10. Darby and Castillo in the backfield. McLean with Cramps on the bench. Play fake. John Parker Wilson steps up. In the air. That's incomplete. Oh, did he catch it? Yes, he did. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was out of bounds. It's Nikita Stover. Blitz. Halfback pass, Jimmy Jones. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Guess who? Guess who? The high school quarterback. John Parker Wilson has surpassed Brody Croy. From the corner of the blitz, John Parker Wilson pulls up. He's got Cadell open, and he can't get there. No, I, I, I think you got to kick a field goal. Yeah, I was. What's your I, chance I, of making 20 yards? I wasn't sure what they were doing. Then they hustled the field goal unit on. Yeah. Trying to keep the defensive unit off, and now. Oh, no. They're going to have to take a timeout on top of it. Wow. They kept the offense on the field. Right. And then hurried the field goal unit on. Right here. Do they help on him? Doesn't look like Doesn't it. Doesn't look like it at all. Wilson back. Into the end zone. Tipped. Incomplete. A lot of jostling going down there. Play clock at four. And off to Lester. Breaks the tackle. Flips it out near the 28-yard line. Alabama's conceding the sneak. Lester. That's a first down, and the clock will stop. 
quick hits and more tomorrow on the NFL Today. Fourth and six, Cody Bliss. Booms it. Javier Arenas grabs it at the 19-yard line. Comes right. They try to set up the wall. He's tackled at the 41. Auburn playing with two men 20 yards downfield. There's the pass intercepted. Picked off by David Irons. That should do it. Nineteen fifty four to nineteen fifty eight, the Auburn Tigers won five in a row over Alabama. Shug Jordan was the head coach. This is going to be a flag and a personal foul on Terrence Jones, number fifty five. We talked about Mike Shula in the in the beginning of this football game. Now it comes back. Lost four in a row. Major disappointment. This might be the worst schedule that Alabama's ever had. I mean, this is a team a, a schedule they should have won. I think he's officially on the clock next year. Yes. Well, I'm not sure. I don't want to put any significance on this, but Mal Moore, the athletic director, occupies the booth next to us in the press box, and uh, they left early. The disappointment for the entire athletic department in Alabama is overwhelming, and the thumbs are up for the Auburn Tigers. Tommy Tuberville is among the least shy coaches I know. Sure. He will say what's on his mind. And there's the meeting of Shula and Tuberville and the meeting of the thumbs.